Hi there my friend, welcome to another Subliminator Print On Demand tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to do something really exciting. We are going to create an all over print button down shirt using solely AI to create the design. We're going to use a software called Mid Journey. We're going to create our design in Mid Journey. Then we're going to take it over to Subliminator to finish off the button down shirt. So yes, that means you don't need any Photoshop. You don't need any graphic design skills. You just need to follow along this simple tutorial. And by the end of it, you'll have an awesome looking print on demand button down shirt to publish on your store. So let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need to do is come over here to midjourney.com and you just need to go down the bottom right and click join the beta. So I'm not going to go through that process. It's really, really easy. It'll cost you $10 a month. Once you have done that, then you download an app called Discord or you can just go to Discord in your Chrome browser and it's going to look a little something like this. Now, you can see that I've been messing with other things. Uh, I was doing some other Eastern inspired designs uh, for an MMA rash guard, which is um, something that's also possible with Subliminator, they do rash guards. But this one here, we're doing a button down shirt. So the way you do a prompt or you give Mid Journey a prompt is you do forward slash imagine, and then that's where you type in your prompt. So create a colorful, Hawaiian themed, don't know if that's how you spell Hawaiian, probably still wrong, but that's okay. Hawaiian themed pattern with pineapples, bananas, bananas, okay, fun theme, colorful summer, okay, and we want to do this little tag at the end, so we go dash dash tile. So what that's going to do is that's going to create something that can be tiled as a seamless pattern. And that's what we want to get out of this. So Mid Journey is smart enough to do that. So we'll just wait a few seconds. It can take about a minute sometimes and we'll see what designs it comes out with. Okay, so these are kind of cool actually. So you can see it's given us a big variety. Now I didn't um, tell it, tell Mid Journey that I wanted a particular background color. Now something like these ones could work quite nicely. I think this one here looks quite good. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to ask for an upscale version of this, just a slightly higher quality version. So this is number four, goes one, two, three, four. Okay, so we're just going to do upscale version of four. And while we're at it, I'm just going to ask for another version of four as well. Okay, I'm just going to leave that there. I might do highly detailed and intricate. Let's add some keywords there. We'll see if that comes up with anything. If not, we're going to use this one here. All right, so you can see here, um, these look really cool actually. I kind of like what it's come up with here. Just trying to picture how these would look. Um, I think maybe I might stick with this original one. It's kind of vintage looking. I think that's quite cool. All right, so we just go to uh, to save this. You just got to click on it and right click save image. I'm going to save that and I'm going to see you over in the Subliminator dashboard. All right, so here we are now over in Subliminator, which I'm sure you are familiar with. Now uh, you can just browse in the products here on the left hand side if you want. Um, I'm just going to click t-shirts, uh, button down shirt, sorry. Okay, so we're going to do this short sleeve one. So if you need a template for this, you can click on more info, which has um, got all your design templates and everything that you can you can download. It's got information about sizes, uh, shipping and everything. But we don't need that because we're gonna create this all inside of Subliminate. So I'm just going to hit create. Now I'm just going to drop the design on here, okay? All right, now you can see it's dropped it in there quite small. We do want it to be a bit bigger. Now something you need to be mindful of is if we have a look over here on the left-hand side, the low quality warning, 99 DPI, you really do want to keep it at 100 just so it comes up um, you know, decent quality when it's printed. Sometimes with Mid Journey, the images that, that are output are still not high quality enough for print on demand, um, but you can use a program called Topaz uh, Gigapixel AI, which will upscale the image. It does cost around $90, I think, and it's a one-off cost. And I have done other tutorials where I've used that software. But for seamless patterns, you can usually get away with not having to do that, unless, of course, you wanted to make this bigger. So what we're going to do now to tile this, 
Okay, we're going to create the seamless pattern. We're going to come over here to the pattern maker, click on pattern maker, and we want to go do a half drop pattern. Okay, so there you go. That's looking pretty cool if you ask me. Nice and colorful, I think. The scale of these is good. All right, um, like I said, if you want, you can just scale it to make it much bigger. If you want that kind of look, you are going to have to go and upscale this image. Well, potentially, even though this has got a bit of a vintage look, perhaps being super clear um, and high resolution is not as important, but I still would recommend making sure you have a high resolution image. So what we're gonna do with, just for the sake of this tutorial, we're gonna keep this at 100, okay? Now, I want that to be across the entire product, all right? So we're gonna go over here, we've got the layer selected, and we're going to click Duplicate Layer. We're gonna go All Placements. Now, we don't need it on the label. These have an inside label, which is where you can put your logo, if you like. We're gonna do Copy Layer. Okay, so you can see here that label, if you put something there that will print on the inside of the shirt, like a t-shirt or a shirt uh, label. Now this is copied it all um, onto all parts of the garment, but what's great is on the back, this yoke area, you can do contrasting color there or something, if that's the type of design you're looking for. Okay, um, this is the inside yoke. Okay, and the sleeves and the collar. So you can actually customize, you can see every single portion of this garment, but for the sake of this tutorial again, and for the style of this um, button down t-shirt, we're just going to stick with this. I'm going to preview it. All right, so you can see the preview here looks really cool. That looks great. It's definitely something your grandfather would have worn in the 70s, but these types of things are popular with the uh, the kids nowadays. So this is really good um, in the way that if you've missed a panel during a design or something isn't quite right, if you're highly customizing each different part of this garment, you will see some errors if you've made errors. So that's why this preview is really important. Now, what we're going to do is we're actually going to go to the next step, which is where we choose our mock cups so for your store let's say if you want yep yeah, this guy looks pretty cool um, I like this guy here as well and I just want these mock-ups too so you choose the ones you want no harm in choosing all of them if that's what you're after might choose this side view too all right and you just click generate mock-ups okay so the mock-ups generated if you want to zoom in you can you see that looks so good so realistic you wouldn't know that it's a computer generated mock-up. This looks super cool. I actually love how this design's turned out. Um, it's light and bright and you know vintage looking, very colorful and fun. Something like this, if it suits your brand, would sell really, really well. And you can also do matching products like you might do some swim trunks or something with the same pattern. Um, you know, so this is uh, this has turned out really nicely. Okay, so the next steps of this are very, very easy. I have gone through this in lots of other videos, but simply you go through, you type a custom uh, product description, okay? This information is important, but you should also write something that's customized to this particular product, and obviously your product title. Now here you can choose to attach your size guide. So the size guide looks like this. It will be published on your product description. You can choose whether you want imperial or metric. Okay, and then the next step is where you do your pricing. Now, all of subliminated prices here um, that are shown here, they are actually inclusive of shipping. Okay, that's why the prices are slightly different for different regions of the world. So make sure if you're selling, say, predominantly to the USA, you can see your profit margin here. Okay, you can definitely sell these, uh, in my opinion, for a lot more than $44.99. Um, so you work out what's going to be best for your niche. Here you just need to certify that you own the product and hit publish and you are ready to go. Well, there you have it, another tutorial done. So I hope this one was easy enough to follow. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. And if you would like to see more videos like this, make sure you like this video, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out. And thank you once again and see you on the next one.